Run, both of you, run, run! Stop! Okay, rest for a minute. What was that sound, Neil? It's poachers. They saw Ndutle. What do we do now? We're safe for a while. They've got one horn, but they'll have to be quick to flee otherwise. They'll get caught. The rangers will have heard the shot, too. You scared, Dad. What's gonna happen to us? I don't know. We're safe for now, but we've got to keep moving and stay ahead of them. You keep quiet. It's just the wind. It's okay. Neil! I've seen them. They are three men. They shot him and they're fleeing with the horn now. I'm so sorry. What do we do now, Dickie? Head to the top of the valley. It's secure with only two ways in and out. But you must keep moving. They'll be trying to follow you. Neil, the little one is tired. I know. But we must keep moving. I will go on ahead and let Aljay know when you are on your way. When you get there, the jungle will do all they can to protect you. Thank you so much, Dickie. I'll see you all there. <laughs> LJ, we have to keep them safe. They're being tracked by poachers who want their horns. We will help this family. We're losing too many of their kind. Sorry, you're wrong. We don't need trouble coming into our valley when we've managed to keep this safe haven for so long. They're strong creatures with horns, so they can take care of themselves. Welcome to you all. <gasps> and what's your name? Neil. Get up, Salima. That's his name. My name is Rhino Neil. Dude, look at the size of them. If the next word he said was far, that would be extreme. Easy. This is Niha, my wife, and my son in Guna. Thank you so much for this. I'm LJ Shaw. It's an honor to have you here. Dickie's been telling us everything. I was listening to them when they attacked your brother, Neil. They'll come for you all, and once they have your horns, their boss will also come to collect them. They'll then come by the big red rock at the river and escape to the valley. Will the Alpha be on his own when he comes for the horns? Yes. I have a plan. Let's make a horn. It's only made out of hair, like the same stuff human fingernails are made of. We can also scare off the poachers as they come into the valley. If we scare them enough, they'll never want to come back. Papio, for once, that isn't a bad idea. 
But why the fake horn? Dickie Bird said that they have the real horn from Neil's brother. We need to make sure he comes to the valley thinking he's coming to collect. But we're going to lure him with the fake horn. We ambush him there and terrorize him. He'll think he's getting the real horn, but he sees the fake. We scare him and he'll never want to collect the rhino horns again. You and your troop get cracking on making the horn. They will come in three different places. One through the mountain rocks, one across the river, and the last one across the plain and through the forest. Thank you, Dickie. Now we can organize our real African welcome for these poachers. Dickie, you will fly to the river and talk with Mac and let him know what's going to happen. Papio, you must go and find Polly and Lepus and let them know that there are some poachers coming through their area. I will go to the mountains and let Thomas, Richard and Henry know what's going to happen. Brilliant idea, LJ. The three lions! We aren't talking any old Tom, Dick and Harry. They will give them a very warm welcome. <clears throat> the three are lions. That could, that could catch on somewhere. Once I've spoken to back, I'll find the poachers and see how far they are from the valley. Good idea. Report back when you know as soon as possible. Papio, how are we going to stick all of this tie together to make it look like a horn? That's easy. I've thought of that. Billy, it'll work. Trust me. Bingo. them scared so they'll go home and tell everybody we not... know exactly what we need to do leave it to us oh my don't you order <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Stop! What are you counting for? I've only got 100 steps, then I'm dead. No, that's the blue Malaysian coral snake. You have been beaten by a mamba. Those are all about time. How long? 20 days? No. Hours? No. Minutes? Mm. Right, listen, brother. You're gonna have to start sucking. Right where you have been beaten. What do you think? I think I'll tell our mom you had an unfortunate death. Start sucking! I swear, if you tell anyone about this, forget the mamba. I will kill you. Morning, Mac. Will you be okay on your own, or do you need me to go get help? I'll be fine, Dickie. Shark isn't the only animal with a mouthful of teeth. Oh my! 
Lock their way to the valley so they can only turn back, and then it's up to the three of you. When they are gone, we are leaving and not coming back. My life isn't worth sacrificing to. My friends, we have done so well. When the poacher's alpha has come to collect the horns, we will follow him, and when he gets to the border fence, we'll surround him and attract the rangers to have him arrested. King, we need the howitzer. What the heck is the howitzer? Why didn't you just say big gun, you posh brats? Where is Loxo? <laughs> Loxo, today you're the howitzer. Send him down. the same way when I lost your grandfather to poachers. It's not fair. It wasn't fair. It isn't fair. Tem 
nyama pambili ndisahlele lentoni kulomhlaba ndisahlele lentoni kulomhlaba Kubushungu ngabina bazali Kakunje nje 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 Itemba ndina lo Kumnyama pambili Ndisahe Hey!